and got chocolate chips, got two, like two gummy bears. Chocolate chips, cookie dough, M and M's, brownie, um, so Oreos, Jackson, get toppings off. Watermelon. He was alright. They have that watermelon in it. Yep. What's up, guys? It's Echo in here. Sorry, but Echo. we've had extremely lazy day. We uh, we slept in a lot, and then Jeff even took a nap on top of that. And the boys have just been super lazy. We have not had any agenda. And now we're getting ice cream. More for me. Okay, try it. And Jer Jacoby has soccer practice, but oh. that is about the gist of today because we have such a long weekend. And so we're just trying to catch up on rest. Six plus one. So sorry we weren't able to vlog every day this week for those of you who watch. Just too much fun. Yeah, so it's 11 plus 6, 17, 17. baby. Now we're working on math facts. Hey, Jericho, show me how girls walk. Yeah, one more time. Show, and then show me how, and then Daddy will show me. Yeah, because I forget. <laughs> I kind of forgot. Let's see. That's not how. Watch, Daddy will show you. That's how they stand. <laughs> you show me. You show me. <laughs> we did not walk with our booties out. Brothers helping each other. Hold on. Hold on, Bobby. Hold on tight. Mommy and me and Jackson are tied at three. Tied in the middle place. Yay! <laughs> oh! 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 So we just had a crazy scare, and Jericho was ziplining, and Jeff went crazy and pushed him hard. <laughs> he was totally not holding on, and he fell and face planted and had a mouthful of bark in his mouth, and now. He's completely fine. Jumping out of the top of the thing. Wanna go again? Whoa. Called us over here so that he could jump to daddy out of the tree house. Kids are crazy resilient. Crazy. <laughs> Turn towards mommy. Turn, look that way. Somebody had an encounter with some bark. Poor Bubba. Aw, he's such a big boy though, huh? You didn't even let it bother you. Good morning guys, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have like this horrible sore throat from the weekend still and it's like moving into my chest, it's horrible. But anyways, today is our first official day of homeschooling. 
You can see Jackson, ooh, in the messy house, back there starting his math lesson. <laughs> so today we are going to get our homework done and then we are going to clean the house because it is a disaster. But I wanted to share something with you guys this morning. I, um, I think I got sick because I wasn't getting enough sleep and then I was singing like a whole bunch over the weekend. So I kind of have this like really bad sore throat going on. But every time I have a sore throat, I always make the same drink and Jeff calls it disgusting. And it is actually pretty gross, but it is really, really good for you. Um, the the uh, main ingredient is apple cider vinegar. And this brand is like the best because it's organic. But um, apple cider vinegar is seriously amazing for so many different reasons. But there's lots that goes into it. Hold on one second, buddy. So what you wanna do is get a cup of hot water, warm, I, a cup of hot water, and then you put a spoonful, and I usually use a tablespoon, some people just use teaspoons, of apple cider vinegar, and then the same amount of honey, and then some lemon in there. And then I always put cinnamon on top just to get the smell. The apple cider vinegar smell is like nasty. It just makes you gag. So I put cinnamon so that kind of makes it more like a, a cinnamony apple warm drink. But it doesn't taste amazing, but it seriously works so well. And this time I think I just didn't take it quick enough. Usually as soon as I feel myself getting sick, I take it right away and I don't even get sick, but this time I just kept, I didn't start until yesterday. So that I had already been Friday, Saturday, Sunday, not good. Um, but anyways, <laughs> if you're ever feeling like you have a sore throat coming or anything, seriously, try it. It works and it's amazing. So Jackson's starting his math, huh? Mm -hmm. Starting his math and then we're gonna do some classical conversations memory work and we're going to do some history and Lesson reading one. today You've been studying and i'm going to clean years, and you know yes. most important hi everybody i'm going to make mac and cheese so it's one o'clock <laughs> we haven't had lunch yet and i'm totally in my pj still whoops and jackson finally got out of his robe but he's gonna, Jackson's gonna share with you how he makes mac and cheese. He is such a big boy, he can do it all by himself. Yes. Step one, put water in, high, boil the water. And when it's boiling, you put the noodles in. First you take the cheese out. Now you have to set the timer for seven minutes. Now what are we going to do? We need to drain the water. That's right. Okay, go ahead. Four tablespoons of butter. So we've had such a busy weekend, and now we are going back to regular life. Back to school night. Back to school night, people. 20 minutes late. We are already late. late. Because, it's because we love we our babysitters so baseball much. Baseball practice. Well, baseball practice and our babysitter is amazing, so we like talking to her. <laughs> but we're walking in late right now, and they're already talking, so I gotta go. You know how sometimes you're late, but other people are late? We're the only ones walking in right now. Deliciousness. Ooh, those are pretty good actually, Ben. So we 
we just finished our back to school night and we decided to take a tiny bit of time since the boys are being watched by an amazing person to come and get some din din at Chili's. Mm. So we're gonna get a mini date in, huh babe? It's a mini date? Just a tiny mini date. Mini dates are important. Dating each other as spouses is super important. So if you're, even if you have little kids, it's so important to find the time, even if you just, when they go to sleep, have a little a couple minutes just spent together. It's super important to keep the flame alive. And so that you understand each other, know each other, are, and love each other. Thumbs up if you believe in that. I still think this guy's pretty awesome. And it's been 12 years. And this is my baby cakes, sweet face, sweet lips, <laughs> honey buns. Wow. Can I have a french fry please? <laughs> we are the Pitnikoff Five and this is our life. We aren't perfect, but we strive to have joy and love fill our home every day. If you've enjoyed watching, please subscribe. We'd also love to get to know you, so please comment below. We hope we can bring joy and laughter into your home. Thanks so much for watching.